It's a diversionary tactic called the wrap-up smear. You smear somebody with falsehoods and all the rest, and then you merchandise it. And then you write it, and they'll say, see, it's reported in the press that this, 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 and this. So they have that validation that the press reported the smear, and then it's called the wrap-up smear. So he says his bloodbath comment was referring to the auto industry. Now, I don't know if that's how y'all heard it, but uh, that's not how it sounded to me. But he, I mean, what do you think about, do you care? Because he, he does this every week now. Every three or four days he says something outrageous and then we flock to talk about it. What, I, what's your I do thoughts? think it, the bloodbath comment over the weekend was wall-to-wall -wall coverage. And a lot of Republicans are going to see the headline and then see what he said and say, oh, wait, he's talking about auto workers. But I don't want us to miss the forest through the trees of the truly dangerous stuff that he's saying, because that's what will sway this election. Well, you know, for me, I will never stop caring. I, I cared the first minute, and I will continue caring uh, the rest of my life. They want to do this all electric nonsense where the cars don't go far, they cost too much, and they're all made in, they're all made in China. And the head of the United Auto Workers never probably shook hands with a Republican before. They're destroying. You know, Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years 34% of the automobile manufacturing business in our country. Think of it. Went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole... That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine... All he does is build car manufacturing plants. He's the biggest in the world. I said, I'd like to see one of your plants recently. I said, I'd like to see, where can we go? Well, we have to travel to Mexico. I said, why Mexico? He said, because that's where the big plants are building. We're going to make cars in Mexico, and they're going to do it. You're not going to stand for that, Bernie, J.D.? I have a, I have a feeling J.D. is not, J.D.'s not big into that policy. 100% tariff, they won't sell any cars over here. And I'll tell them, if they want to build a plant in Michigan, in Ohio, in South Carolina, they can, using American workers, they can. They can't send Chinese workers over here, which they sometimes do. But they, if they want to do that, we're welcome, right? But they're not going to build them in Mexico, and they're not going to do that. 